The American bar exam holds immense significance, forming a defining moment in the career progression of aspiring legal professionals across the United States. The origins of the exam trace back to the late 19th century, an era distinguished by a profound shift from the apprenticeship method of legal education to formal law school education. Initially, only a few jurisdictions implemented the bar examination. However, recognizing its efficacy in legal competency measurement, all states eventually adopted its utilization by the mid-20th century. The bar exam primarily functions as a professional licensing examination that discerns the ability of a prospective lawyer to practice law in a specific jurisdiction. It covers a broad array of legal topics, both substantive and procedural, and measures candidates' critical thinking, legal analysis, and problem-solving skills. While the exact content and structure of the exam may vary across jurisdictions, most states currently use the Uniform Bar Exam, UBE, which provides a standardized exam structure. The UBE consists of three parts, the Multistate Bar Examination, MBE, the Multistate Essay Examination, MEE, and the Multistate Performance Test, MPT. The MBE is a rigorous 200-question multiple-choice test spanning subjects such as constitutional law, contract law, criminal law, evidence, real property, and torts. The MEE assesses the applicant's ability to effectively communicate in writing by assigning six 30-minute essay questions. The MPT tasks candidates with two simulated legal assignments, testing an applicant's ability to use fundamental lawyering skills under realistic conditions. Undeniably, the bar exam's significance is multifaceted. Primarily, it ensures that individuals seeking to provide legal services have a sound understanding of the legal principles and ethical standards that govern the profession. Consequently, this acts as a protective measure for the public, safeguarding them from incompetent lawyers. Furthermore, by leveraging uniformity across jurisdictions through the UBE, the exam supports legal practitioners seeking license portability, a key aspect in the era of an increasingly globalized legal practice. Nevertheless, the bar exam is not without its disadvantages. One prominent point of contention surrounding the exam is its stringent and high-pressure nature, which critics argue doesn't necessarily translate to a candidate's real-world lawyering capabilities. This high-stress environment can contribute to mental health concerns among test takers, who often experience anxiety and burnout in the lead-up to the exam. Additionally, detractors argue that the exam's focus is misdirected, primarily testing knowledge of theoretical legal principles while neglecting practical skills such as client counseling and negotiation. Critics also highlight the socioeconomic barriers the bar exam poses, particularly toward economically disadvantaged students who may lack the means to afford expensive preparatory courses. With this dual-edged perspective, the bar exam continues to elicit debate. Despite its potential drawbacks, the exam remains proven in ensuring a particular standard of competence among practicing lawyers. Ameliorating its shortcomings requires a comprehensive approach, encompassing facets such as holistic legal education and the integration of practical skills. Further, assistance should be provided to ensure that economically disadvantaged students do not miss the opportunities that this exam could present. In conclusion, the American Bar Exam stands as a critical juncture in a prospective lawyer's journey. While it presents challenges, both psychological and financial, it remains integral to vetting the competence of incoming legal professionals and continues to form the backbone of the U.S. legal profession's entry requirements. As with any significant societal institution, ongoing assessment and thoughtful recalibration when necessary will help ensure the bar exam's longevity and efficacy in the changing landscape of law and society.